as you know, we got a big weekend coming up. Super Bowl Sunday is coming up against the 49ers and the Chiefs. Guys, who are you going for? Uh, I'm really excited for this game. Um, Niners were the number one seed in the NFC. Mm -hmm. Chiefs were the number two seed in the AFC. Great defense against a great offense. But I do think it's Andy Reid's time. Um, okay. Andy Reid is probably one of the most recognized and winningest coaches in the league currently behind Bill Belichick. He's only been to one Super Bowl, which he lost to Bill Belichick. He gets a chance to make it right. He's got the best quarterback in the league. Uh, and they just got too many weapons. And I, I don't know if the 49ers are going to be able to adjust to all that speed that Kansas City has. All right, what about you, Tripp? Um, to quote the great Issa Rae, I'm rooting for everybody black. <laughs> <laughs> but more specifically, I'm rooting for the black quarterback, Patrick Mahomes. Okay. So I'm going for the Chiefs. Like Eric said, I mean, that the offensive onslaught, Tyreek Hill, Sammy Watkins, uh, Kelsey, and then the best quarterback right now in football is Patrick Mahomes. As great as that 49ers defense is with that front four, with Richard Sherman on fire right now, yes. I'm going with the Kansas City Chiefs. Mm -hmm. It's Patrick Mahomes' time. It's crazy I'm saying that it's his time now because it's only his it's third, only third year. year. <laughs> what is his time? <laughs> and listen, man, like – I, like I, y'all know, I wanted a, I wanted a Super Bowl with two black quarterbacks starting in it, but we only got one. So I, you know, I'm pulling for Patrick Mahomes, and he's definitely more than capable of pulling off a victory with that offense, with those weapons. I know the defense is not what I would like for it to be, but at the same time, it's hard to stop Patrick Mahomes. And if you look at uh, going back to the the Ravens. 49ers game earlier this season, as good as that front four was, they struggle against mobile quarterbacks. So I think Patrick Mahomes is going to do what he does every game. Absolutely. I think that's a big factor. Like you said, uh, Mahomes' ability to move around. 49ers front four is really good. They get a lot of pressure. But if you look at the quarterbacks they beat, they didn't have to beat anybody who, had, who is as multifaceted as yes. Patrick Mahomes, being able to move the big arm down the field right. and then all of the weapons. Mm-hmm. You can't teach speed and you can't practice against speed. Yeah. You you can only adjust to it when you see it. And for the 49ers, the first time they're going to see Tyreek Hill running by them. Right? Yeah. Nicole Hardman, Sammy Watkins, the Michael Robinson. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of speed on the outside. And then, like you said, if you start Tyreek Hill trying that, to run in the Olympics. Absolutely. <laughs> when you start trying to adjust to all that speed on the outside, now yeah. here comes Travis Kelsey. Yeah. Here comes Damian Williams. And what you going to do with that boy? It's, it's too, I, I just think it's too many weapons. I think yeah. the Niners will, will find their footing at some point in the second quarter. They'll yeah. start to adjust, but by then Kansas City's gonna be rolling. And they don't Kansas City doesn't turn over the football. So if you're in a situation, I don't have that level of confidence in Jimmy Garoppolo. And that's not to say he can't do it, but I have not seen him do it yet. To where if you gotta play catch up behind Patrick Mahomes and everything he's doing, because again, he doesn't turn over the football. Right. He came back twice from ten points down to Tennessee. He came back from down twenty four zip. To the to to to, uh, to the Texans, that the man does what he wants to do mm -hmm. on the football field. It's hard to stop him. He's an MVP for a reason. He's in the Super Bowl for a reason. I don't think he's getting stopped. I'm sorry. I agree. I don't think they get stopped. Um, the best bet for the Niners in this game is to try to jump out early and then rely on their running yeah. game and kind of play keep away. Because we talked about before, that's really the best way you beat the Chiefs. You keep their offense on the sideline. You force their defense to stay on the field for 10, 12, 15 plays. Mm -hmm. Tennessee was able to do it in the first half. But as you mentioned, that's how explosive this Chiefs offense is. Yep. Your game plan could go perfect for a whole half, and you could still be losing. <laughs> yeah. You could still be losing to the guys <laughs> yeah. because they, they scored just like that. Um, also, uh, Cliff knows this because he's a big-time Eagles fan. Andy Reid is almost unbeatable coming out of a bye week. Yeah. And the Chiefs just had two weeks to prepare for this game. Yeah. And so Andy Reid is going to come up with a game plan. He's going to give the Niners a lot of things they haven't seen on film. A lot of formations, a lot of situations that they are not going to be comfortable with right away. Yeah. And that front four completely gets neutralized once Patrick Mahomes starts getting rid of that ball quick and you can't get the pressure on him. And guess what? You beat the 49ers the same way you beat the Titans. You you make that quarterback play. Right. And, you know, uh, Kittle, top three tight end in the league. Absolutely. But you got to throw the football. 
and you, you you might have to throw it downfield. Absolutely. Kittle's, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if you, you ain't going all the way 50 well, yards down the field. Right. I don't know if Garoppolo got that in him. He might. He might well, surprise me. But the, the one game we did see this year that Garoppolo showed a little bit of it was, and that, more than a little bit. I don't want to devalue what he did. The Saints game. They yeah. got into a shootout. But in that game, they were never down to the point where they couldn't run the ball. Yeah, exactly. You know, they exactly. would be down a possession so they could still run so the ball. Could, they yes. could still stay balanced. They could Which still is get the play at, Right. They can get the play action going. If in this game they get down 10 points, 13 points, 17 points, and Jimmy G has to throw the ball. Yeah. Because it's, diff- mean, it's, it's a difference when you have to throw the ball as opposed to when you can throw the ball or you can still run right. and we're still in good shape. Right. I, you get a you get a ten point deficit to the Chiefs, and you gotta start throwing that football. It changes your whole game plan. Yeah, you but didn't the Niners that. have like the best defensive line ever. So oh, you, I ain't gonna say ever. That's guys, just in the league. Window. Yes, they do. Come not on. ever. Yeah, not, not ever. ever. But that's maybe a, maybe right, that's a little league. much. Maybe in, maybe right now they might have the best front four. But again, and and of course, you know, obviously Mahomes is not as fast as Lamar Jackson. However. They struggle with mobile quarterbacks that can throw the football. Right. I don't even think it's, it's, it's mobile quarterbacks. I think it's quarterbacks who make quick decisions. If you look at their losses, the Baltimore game, right? Again, it was a lot of read option, and Lamar was getting rid of the ball quick yeah. or running. And the weather was horrible that right. game, too. Mm-hmm. But you look at, again, the Saints chopped them up for 30-plus points, right? The Seahawks almost beat them twice this year. Yeah. Right? The first game, they beat them in overtime. The second game, they got stopped at the goal line. That would have won mm-hmm. the game. The Falcons went into San Fran and beat them this year. These are quarterbacks who make quick decisions with the ball. They're not going to allow that pass rush to get to them. Yes. And I think that's the same game plan this week. Andy Reid is not going to allow Patrick Mahomes to stand back there and take a beating the way Kirk Cousins no. did or he, the way Aaron Rodgers did. He learned his lesson. Right. He, I mean, <laughs> he, he again, learned his lesson from earlier yeah, this season. He's not, he definitely learned his Aaron lesson. Aaron Rodgers took a beating in that first half. That's yeah. why they were down 24 nothing at the half. And it was at that point, it's over. Right. Andy yeah. Reid is not going to allow his quarterback to take those type of hits. I guarantee you, the ball's coming out fast. It's coming out hot. Kelsey, mm-hmm. five yards. Tariq Hill, screen passes. Hardman screens. We'll, we'll hand the ball off. You do all these things, you slow down the pass rush, so then you set up the big passes down the field. Mm-hmm. And, and then that's when we're going to hit you with the Tariq Hill. Right, and then that's when we, <laughs> then we're going to we let the speed get over the top. You. And you ain't going to be able to do nothing about it. Right. Sorry. Do you guys think that it's going to be a close-scoring game? I think it's going to be a very good game. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I had to predict the final score, I think it would be somewhere in the range of... Uh, 34 24. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I was thinking a, a 10 point. Right. Kind of Somewhere blow. around 10, 8 yeah. to 10 point range. San Fran, uh, again, San Fran is very good. You don't get to this point by being a bad team. Yeah, that's right. a fact. And if we look historically over the last few Super Bowls, aside from when Seattle uh, blew out Denver, that was about eight years ago, mm-hmm. yeah. every Super Bowl has been pretty close. Yeah. So I expect it to be entertaining. I expect it to be close. But Patrick Mahomes is, is just on another level right now. And I think yeah. it's Andy Reid's year. Yeah. It'll be very disappointing if it was a low scoring game because then I would just turn it to something else. <laughs> well, if it's, a, if it's a low scoring game, then it's going to be in favor of the 49ers. Absolutely. Um, but I just I, like I have I haven't seen a team stop Kansas City from scoring the football. And that's whether they win or lose games. Right. Mm-hmm. It, uh, Patrick Mahomes is still putting up numbers. I I had him on a fantasy team, so I know even their losses He's putting up numbers. They're getting the ball down the field. Now, the defense may have given up more points than he was able to score that particular game, but they're going to put points on the board. And I don't, I don't think that the 49ers are going to stop Patrick Mahomes from, from getting the ball down the field and, and, and the Chiefs' offense from scoring. Nah, it, again, too much speed. Uh, Richard Sherman having a great year. Oh, yeah. But guess what? Kansas City's going to pick on that other cornerback. Oh. That kid Witherspoon. Yeah. who continues to come in and out of the lineup because they can't find another guy on that side, yeah. they're going to pick on that side. It's going to be a problem. Yeah, uh, they're going to go after that Yikes. side. So whoever's yeah. over there, Sammy Watkins, Nicole yeah. Hartman, and that's going to be the guy that, that's going to probably have the nine catch 120-yard yeah. game. And we, you know, we the, the whole the whole uh, Revis and uh, Sherman yeah. battle right there, where you know people feel like he he's only a floater. Right. Mm-hmm. You gonna have you gonna have your hands full with Tyreek Hill. Oh, he's gonna have his hands full. I mean, listen, anybody's gonna have their hands full with Tyreek because yeah. he he's a better route runner now. He's not just a speed yeah. guy down the field. And for all the talk we're doing, you're, you're gonna have to figure out who you want to double team. Is it gonna be Kelsey? Yeah. Is it going to be Tyreek Hill? Yeah. Are you going to just sit back and say, no, we'll play cover two yeah. or cover three and keep the safety over the top 
and so they can't beat us. Oh, don't get it twisted. Sammy Watkins can get 200 yards. And then, and like <laughs> I said, and then, <laughs> and then here comes Sammy Watkins working the other side. Yeah. You know? what, what, are you, what are you doing with that? Right. That, that's that's a whole. I, I got the Chiefs. I got offense. the Chiefs 34 24. That's my. my and, if, and if he gets into a jam, guess what? Mahomes can scramble <laughs> and get down the field, and, and you won't catch him doing that one either. Right. So it, it's going to be rough. Definitely looking forward to it. If you're out there, you, listen. Because, mm. you know, I've been in situations where people don't know how to make the wings right. So I'm letting y'all know. Super Bowl etiquette is very you, important. Yes, if you're having a Super Bowl etiquette. party. I want to make sure the wings is good. Make sure you got your blue cheese ready. If you got some beers, make sure the beers is everything is ice socked cold. in the cooler. Ice, ice cold. cold. Can't forget about the Doritos too. Yeah, get some Doritos and out there. You 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 made a blasphemous comment earlier. You said if the game is slow, I would turn it off. You would get your hand slapped with the remote. Yeah, <laughs> at the party. Yeah. The game off. If you by yourself this in the house watching This is the last football game of the year. Yeah, right? don't, you don't, ain't turning off this one. Don't, I don't care how slow uh, it is. Don't do that. No, I'm gonna tell you because and, and, and this is I know I'm gonna go back in my my college days. We had the um, we had one of them boxes where you could just watch all the channels, whatever you want. So we was watching a pay per view. It was uh, when when the Rock was fighting Hulk Hogan, and uh, it got to the to the two count on when Hulk Hogan had him pinned mm -hmm. one, two, and somebody sat on the remote oh. and changed the channel. Oh they get thrown God. out the house. And that was just wrestling. That's that's not real. You do that at the Super Bowl party, CJ. We not we ain't gonna see you back on the show no more. <laughs> Somebody might <laughs> do something. You can't forget about the commercials too. I hope the commercials are pretty good yes. this year. You know that's a big part of the Super Bowl. And also, Demi Lovato is supposed to be singing the national a anthem mm -hmm. alongside with Jennifer Lopez and Shakira half performing time. for the halftime show. Somebody, I wish they bring back the Bud Bowl, man. You remember the Bud Bowl? Yeah. I love. I used to love the Bud Bowl. <laughs> Yo, what happened to that, man? It's going to be fun. It's going to be a great time. I know. It's going to be a good time. So make sure you do the Super Bowl right. Have the wings. Have the chips and everything. And um, we'll see you guys next time alongside with A Legend in Two Games and Trip. I'm Sierra Jordan, and we'll see you next week. Hopefully the predictions are right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> This is Deontay the Bronze Bum Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Live from the camp. Hey. Come on, live. Bye, the camp. Uh huh. This is Real Hi, Fans Real Talk. Talk. Real Fans Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Real